गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम टू द क्लास ऑफ फिफ्थ सेमिस्टर बी बी ए एडवांस फाइनेंशियल मैनेजमेंट टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस द सिंपल प्रॉब्लम्स बेस्ड ऑन ट्रेडिशनल अप्रोच लास्ट क्लास वी डिस्कस अबाउट ट्रेडिशनल अप्रोच ऑफ कैपिटल स्ट्रक्चर थीरीज हाउ टू कैलकुलेट द वैल्यू ऑफ द फॉर्म वॉट इज द इम्पैक्ट ऑफ कैपिटल स्ट्रक्चर on value of the firm the learning objectives of this session is an understanding of the cost of capital and capital structure in decision making process the students will be able to learn from this session how to calculate the value of the firm using traditional approach the simple problems based on traditional approach Uh, for example let us discuss about the problem uh, first problem here the problem is given compute the value of the firm value of shares and average cost of capital from the following information net operating income is given as 2 lakh rupees total investment 10 lakh rupees equity capitalization rate is if firm uses no debt 10% firm uses 4 lakh rupees as debt 11% firm uses 6 lakh rupees as debt 15% assume that 4 lakh rupees debt can be raised at 5% and 6 lakh rupees can be raised at 7% rate of interest here three cases are given to us firm uses no debt firm uses 4 lakh 4 lakh rupees as debt Firm uses six lakh rupees as debt. Three cases are given. Under three cases, what has happened? The overall value of the firm, overall cost of capital of the firm. Let us uh, see in this solution. Here and in this solution, we have to categorize like this. One case no debt. Second case four lakhs debt at five percent. third case 6 lakhs debt at 7% here first of all we take net operating income first case 2 lakh rupees all the cases net operating income is 2 lakh rupees same net operating income interest is first case first case there is no debt that's why there is no interest second case 4 lakh rupees at the rate of 5% 2 lakh rupees third case 6 lakh rupees at the rate rate of 7% 42000 earnings available to shareholders this is a uh, uh, 2 lakh rupees first case and uh, 2 lakh rupees in the second case by deducting interest 1 lakh 80000 uh, in third case 1 lakh 58000 equity capitalization rate is it is uh, we can observe that it is slowly increasing 10% first case 11% in second case 15% in third case market value of equity shares this can be calculated 2 2 lakh rupees divided by 0.10 here in the second case we can calculate 1 lakh 80000 divided by 0.1 One one eleven percent means zero point one one. Like that, we got this answer. Here in third case, one lakh fifty eight thousand divided by zero point one five. The equity earnings available to the shareholders divided by cap equity capitalization rate that is equal to market value of equity shares. Then coming to market value of the firm. the total value equity and debt together what is the market value of the firm the, the total in first case total is a equity 20 lakh rupees and in second case 20 uh, out of 20 lakhs rupees uh, the debt is uh, mixed 16 lakh 16 lakh 36363 is the uh, equity And four lakhs is the debt. Together, twenty lakh thirty-six thousand three sixty-three. Here in third case, 
53,333 is the equity plus 6 lakh rupees debt together 16 lakh 53,333. The average cost of capital we can observe this is overall cost of capital in the first case 10 percent in second case 9.82 percent in third case 12.09 percent we can observe that the 4 lakh uh, 4 lakh at the rate of 5 percent the debt combination is uh, uh, optimum debt optimum debt equity mix 4 lakhs debt remaining amount uh, remaining amount is equity is optimum and 11 percent cost of equity is the optimum capital structure let us see the inference from the solution above we can conclude that the increasing the debt portion over a certain limit has increased the cost of capital eventually let us discuss problem 2 tt limited has a PBIT of uh, 3 lakh rupees. Presently, company is uh, financed by equity capital of 20 lakhs with equity capitalization rate of 16 percent. It is contemplating to redeem a part of its capital by introducing debt financing. It has two options to raise debt to the tune of 30 percent or 50 percent of the total funds. It is expected that for debt financing, up to 30 percent will cost 10 percent equity capitalization rate will rise to 17 percent however the uh, if the firm opts for 50 percent debt it will cost 12 percent and equity shareholders expectations will be 20 percent from the above compute the overall cost of capital of the firm coming to the solution the plan here, here also three cases are there. One is 0 percent debt and second case 30 percent debt, third case 50 percent debt. Here debt is, uh, the first case uh, there is no debt, uh, nil debt and 30 percent debt uh, out of 20 lakhs, uh, 30 percent, 6 lakhs is uh, uh, debt. Uh, in third case, out of 20 lakhs, uh, 10 lakhs is the debt 50 percent 50 percent combination of the capital structure uh, here equity capital is 20 lakhs uh, in first case and second case 14 lakhs third case 10 lakhs total assets total assets total capital is 20 lakhs 20 lakhs 20 lakhs in all three cases coming to ebit is given in the problem 3 lakhs 3 lakhs 3 lakhs in all cases less interest in the first case, there is no interest, there is no debt. Next, the second case, 30% uh, debt is there. Out of 60, 6 lakhs, the percentage of debt is 10%, uh, 60,000. Uh, then, uh, say, in third case, uh, the, percentage of, uh, the percentage of debt is uh, out of 10 lakhs, 12% uh, interest, 1,20,000 profit before tax profit be, profit before tax is uh, in the first case uh, 3 uh, 3 lakhs total total amount uh, total assets uh, total capital is uh, 3 lakhs so uh, here also uh, 3 lakhs uh, here after deducting interest in second case 3 lakhs minus 60000 2 lakh 40000 3 lakhs minus uh, uh, 1 lakh 20000 interest deducting 1 lakh 80000 remaining next here uh, if you can observe cost of equity also it is uh, rising uh, from one first case to third case 16 percent 17 percent 20 percent and coming to value of, of equity we can we can calculate the value of equity is a uh, equity component by divided by uh, cost of equity Co equity component is there here 3 lakhs divided by 0 0.16 like that we can get the value 18 lakh 75 thousand here this also uh, 3 uh, 2 lakh 2 lakh 40 thousand divided by 0 0.17 1 lakh 80 thousand 
divided by 0 0.20 we, we got these answers values for equity uh, here, here we got this one 9 lakhs 14 lakhs 18 lakhs 75,000 14 lakhs 11,765 11, and 9 lakhs the value of equities. Uh, next uh, value of debt. The debt value is uh, first case there is no debt. Second case uh, 6 lakhs uh, is a debt. Third case uh, 10 lakhs is a debt. Value of the firm uh, equity plus debt. We can calculate the value of the firm equity uh, and debt together. This is 18 lakh 75,000 plus zero. There is no uh, debt. This is same as uh, 18 lakh 75,000. And uh, here 30% debt is there, 14 lakh 11,765 is the uh, equity and the debt is 6 lakhs together 20 lakhs 11,765. Uh, then here in third case 10 lakhs is the debt and 9 lakhs is the equity 19 lakhs. Coming to the, if we observe the weighted average cost of capital or overall cost of capital, EBIT divided by B, EBIT is given 3 lakhs divided by V, value of the if value of the firm 18 lakhs 75,000. If you calculate this, this value 16 percent and second case 14.9 nine one and the third case fifteen point seven five this value uh, the this value three lakhs divided by uh, this uh, this value we will get this answer uh, here we can observe these values sixteen point uh, uh, sixteen percent to two fourteen percent we we are able to reduce the uh, overall cost of capital up to 14.91 percent after that uh, introduction of debt combination in the capital structure we are not able to reduce the uh, reduce uh, reduce the overall cost of capital that's why the optimal point certain optimal point will be there to combine the debt combination in the capital structure we can understood this uh, interpretation from the traditional approach of capital structure theories. The inference of traditional theory lays down that as a debt content increases, rate of interest on debt increases and equity shareholders expectations also arise. Hence values of firm and weighted average cost of capital will be affected. By suitably altering debt content, the firm should achieve maximum firm value and minimum weighted average cost of capital here multiple choice questions thank you